the thrill of the wild. One vehicle captures that feeling. With the strength and agility to master any terrain, nothing stands in its way. Jeep, like nothing you've ever driven. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Amazing Mods for Daisy, episode 6. Oh my god, that intro. Oh boy, it's about right we caught up with some awesome mods from the Daisy community. All mods, of course, will be linked in the description below. Give them a try yourselves or use them on your servers. And we're going to start off with one of my favorites, Dino's Bino, who creates some amazing and unique mods, and he started pumping out some new vehicles. And his first vehicle out on the workshop is this Jeep, which uses existing car parts to get running, battery, radiator, spark plug, fuel, oil, water, radiator. The only thing is you will need a Jeep key to start the vehicle. It goes into the engine belt slot in the vehicle inventory, and it also has some nice custom wheels. Now, Dinos has released quite a few little mods on the Daisy Workshop, this being, in my opinion, his best, but he is also working on a Mad Max-style apocalyptic muscle car, and that one I really can't wait to get my hands on. Next up, we have two more awesome vehicle mods by Kuznikov, using the base foundation of Dino's vehicle mod that he created, just using a model that Kuznikov has put together to create an off-road dune buggy-style vehicle and a UAZ truck, both of these fully custom with custom wheels, the buggy was my favorite to drive around, but there's a lot of detail and care been put into the UAZ, and it does look the part. But you can't beat having fun in a buggy doing drifts, sliding around corners, cheeky donuts, and trying to go uphill. But sadly, we couldn't use it to its full potential, I guess because of the base daisy traction issue with vehicles. I don't know if modders can fix this. They did feel slightly different to drive, but uh, it needs a bit more traction when off-road, because those nobblies on that buggy would be able to hold on a little bit better than it felt like it did at the time. Still fun nonetheless. The next mod we're going to take a look at is Gauzy by Munghard, which adds a blood particle effects for both players and the zombies, including hit particles, blood puddles, wall splatter, flies on dead bodies, and it includes the blood trail mod, which of course would be an amazing addition to Daisy, being able to track wounded players via the blood trail that they leave after you've shot them in the ass. And I'm pretty sure it was mentioned officially to be a planned feature for Daisy, the blood trails for both players and animals. Being able to hunt your animals down by the blood trail, not just audio as it is now, you can hear the animal, you go to that direction. If you know you definitely hit an animal you were hunting, but it ran off in a direction, you lost it in the woods, maybe you'd be able to follow its blood trail. Again, a simple feature, but just makes the world feel so much more alive. And it was great in mod form, cannot wait to see if it does make it in officially. Of course, there is more to the Gauzy mod, a big red blood cloud when you shoot your target, slightly more detailed blood puddles, wall splatter, which I had a lot of fun, and they're actually animated. You can see the blood driplets coming down from the main splatter of blood on the wall. It's really nice, and I hope this also makes it in because it just, I don't know, it's just so nice to see blood splat up a wall, maybe onto a vehicle that a player's taking cover behind. It's just a really nice feature to this mod. It gives you more feedback to your player and the actions that you take in the world and you know that, that that blood splatter on the wall was caused by you. So I really hope that Daisy can make this their own and put it officially in the game. I, I really like this feature. Did, did I say that? And of course, from the blood splatter on the wall, we can see bullet holes in the walls as well, which should, in my opinion, already be a part of Daisy. Bullet holes in surfaces. It's honestly something I've never really thought about that's not in Daisy. What do you guys think about this? And then we have flies on dead bodies. There was no sound effect for this, but you could see the flies flying around the corpses. Of course, being a throwback to Daisy mod where we could hear the flies flying around the corpse and you'd know there was danger nearby potentially. Hopefully this also makes it back into Daisy, just like the good old days. Up next, to complement the Gauzy mod, I tried the Walking Dead Zombies, which is a combination of slow zombies, headshot zombies, and zombie sound mod, making the infected slower but harder to kill. Munghard also recommends increasing the amount of infected on the server to compensate for their slowness and with this mod, headshots really count. I, I don't know, myself, I wouldn't mind keeping the infected as they are in Daisy proper, but maybe make them harder to kill. Maybe headshots count more than a body shot. Let's talk about zombie difficulty maybe in the comments below. Next up, we're going to take a look at the More Guns mod by Not A Banana and Misho. 
More Guns is a well-named mod that attempts to increase the armory of DayZ even further than it is now, while maintaining as high of quality and polish as currently possible with the current modding support. Now they do say that more guns will also evolve into more DayZ as they branch out from guns to new optics, locations, vehicles, attachments, and as much new and fun content as possible, which sounds pretty interesting. And this mod includes the SBPM2 25x sniper scope, an AWM, a Car 98K, an M1A Sockham 16, M16A4, M22 Mod 0, MP7, FN Scar L, a Stutchkin Automatic Pistol, and a Vityaz SN. Some really nice weapon additions there. Something you guys may want to add to a server possibly and get some new weapons to use for your community. It's something I definitely want to use, as more weapon variety, in my opinion, is always better. And finally today, you may have noticed the High Grass mod by Smoke. If you know me, you know I like my overgrowth, and in my opinion, DayZ, especially in the towns, doesn't really have enough overgrowth for the apocalyptic feel. Hopefully one day the team do add more overgrowth and fine-tune the map even further once it's finished. Of course, the high grass mod isn't perfect as it makes every single piece of grass in the game extremely tall. It suits certain areas, maybe around the edges of towns, uh, some little patches in towns. Uh, the ruined areas with well, the ruined buildings uh, would look ideal with the long grass, but you go out and there's just grass everywhere. You literally couldn't see a player approaching if they crouched. They could be right next to you, you wouldn't see them. But while driving the UAZ down a straight road, it did remind me of like a, a farmland, a, a cornfield I was driving through. So I'd really like to see what the modding community can achieve in the future with new foliage and overgrowth and being able to place it in certain places so it looked okay rather than the entire map being overgrown. And if we're extremely lucky, maybe even the dev team themselves will add more overgrowth in the future. And that is all, ladies and gentlemen, for amazing mods for DayZ Episode 6. I will get back to the workshop and research and find some more amazing mods to cover. Don't worry if I've not covered yours. Maybe I've not noticed it yet. Feel free to send me a message though and point it my direction. Let's talk about these mods in the comment section below. Don't forget if you've enjoyed the video, drop a subscribe. Tick on my bell to get notified of new videos being uploaded. Scratch that like button and I'll see you peeps next time. Today's episode is brought to you by Loot Crate. And this month I received an exclusive Shadow of the Tomb Raider t-shirt, an Elder Scrolls Online Ouroboros cap, a Dark Souls card wallet, and a Diablo 3 heat change mug, which in my opinion was the highlight this month. So visit my link in the description below if you're interested in Loot Crate and use code SEPTICFALCON for 10% off your order.